Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's uh, sculpt the torso of human body. So I'm going to do the male torso here. So I've got this uh, sphere, which I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, sculpt. So the first thing I would like to do is I'm going to use the move tool. So I press B, M, V, and then I'm going to uh, grab the brush size and then go to the side view and then just uh, roughly, uh, you know, block this shape uh, like that. And then I'm going to change the size of the brush and then, uh, you know, try, try to get that rough form of uh, uh, the torso. Okay, so uh, you can just explore different types of uh, materials on it just to get that uh, feel. Okay, so maybe I'm going to, I just uh, pick this one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take the standard brush and then scale this uh, brush here and then just mask out like that and then invert that and then choose the move tool uh, by pressing W on the keyboard and then uh, just by holding alt and clicking here that will make the gizmo to the center of the unmasked area uh, this location button has to be clicked by pressing alt now i'm going to just grab that like that just uh, for the deltoids and then i'm going to move it slightly like that then i'm going to hold control and drag in the empty area to clear the mask and then click and drag to do the remesh uh, using dynamesh tool so I'm using the standard brush and then again masking this area like that for the neck. Invert that by holding control and click in the empty area. Then choose the move tool. Move the move tool to the center of the unmasked area by pressing alt and click there. And then orientation should be straight. So I'm going to press alt and click on this model and then grab like that. Okay. And then uh, holding control, click control and drag will clear the mask. Control and drag will do the dynamesh. So I've got the rough shape of the uh, torso here. So I'm going to choose the clay build up by pressing B, C and B. And then I'm going to change the size of this and then start, uh, you know, giving that nice clavicle shape here uh, like that. Uh, so when I just uh, open up the geometry and then dynamesh section, the resolution is 64. I'm going to pick it to 128. And then when I just uh, sculpt that and then click and drag I get a bit high density mesh and uh, I'm going to um, start blocking the pectoral muscles um, like that so I can hold shift and then just drag it to get that smoothness uh, for the pectoral muscle there okay uh, just uh, keep it simple at this point um, once i have achieved that i'm going to press uh, b d s which brings up the damn standard brush and then slightly below the uh, you know chest where the sternum ends there just click and drag a line and define the uh, rib cage like that uh, i'm not going till back because here you get the latissimus uh, dorsi so you can use this damn standard just to make this detail more clear and then apply smooth by reducing the intensity of the smooth there i'm using the clay build up by pressing bcb and then just remove the clay like that when you have too much density of polygons you may end up um, you know not getting result with the smooth with one or two strokes you have to do it a lot so I just uh, roughly block out the abs here okay so, uh, so I'm going to do the two sets of abs you can be very organic by you know keeping references and breaking the symmetry and all but at the blocking phase you need not do that and uh, Okay, so I just uh, put uh, this uh, rib uh, lines there and then just smooth it out. Okay, so make sure that they are more uh, uniform and then I'm just giving that light volume of uh, serratus anterior. Okay, and uh, 
I'll just re I'll remove some clay here that uh, gives that separation from external oblique and uh, uh, the rectus abdominis or abs muscle. Okay. Uh, I use uh, the damn standard brush just uh, to build up the navel and uh, or belly button. I'm using the clay build up and then just uh, bringing up the abdomen. Okay, uh, so very quickly, I just uh, using the polish brush, I'm going to uh, cut this area for the angle. And then I'm using the move tool just to get that okay i'm just trying to uh, get that clavicle bone detail and some cavity here where you don't have the pectoral muscle and the deltoid so just that cavity uh, should add some look and feel uh, very quickly i just remove the clay over the deltoid and then just uh, remove or build the shape i can even use uh, the move tool for it and then Okay, uh, I just uh, leave this at this point uh, for the front side and then just start uh, uh, doing something on the throat and the neck area, just uh, removing the clay. And I'll just go to the back here. Uh, before that, I can maybe um, build the neck part like that. I, I use the uh, Dynamesh uh, whenever I do some new details. Now let me just uh, do the trapezius muscle. So that should start from the bottom of the skull. And then I, I go uh, to the side here onto the deltoids and it should be visible from here. And then start uh, bridging those uh, gaps. So here you have that uh, gap at the end of the cervical vertebrae. And where the thoracic starts. Okay, uh, you have the scapula. Okay, so there that is where the trapezius muscle gets connected. I'm using the clay build up and then just extended this extend this trapezius muscle like that okay I'm using the dam standard to define the separation there and maybe just to get that more uh, clarity there. So I can maybe use uh, Dynamesh to rebuild those uh, forms, apply smoothing. So we have uh, a patch here, okay, and uh, the deltoid muscle uh, gets connected that way at this point, the posterior deltoid. So I'm using a combination of the clay build up and the smooth brush. Now I'll be doing the 
muzzles here which is the intraspinatus muzzle the rhomboid muzzle and we have uh, you know teres minor and major here so you can do the, them as well so the direction of the stroke is really important so this is uh, you know real quick uh, torso sculpt uh, it's like a sort of uh, speed sculpting I just try to add those clay layers uh, just to make uh, this details subtle um, they should not be very deep and strong so just a hint of those muscles in the back you can use uh, the move tool and then make the back more broad and thin so get that curvature and the angles correctly so here we have this uh, thoraco lumbar fascia so i'm just building up that muscle here Again, just uh, soften this up a little bit. I'm just trying to define the, the jawline and uh, just reducing the neck part and i'm just trying to bring up the trapezius and now you could able to see the the separation of uh, the deltoid and the trapezius muscle you can split 